The destructive power of the sea, created on dry land. At this new facility in the Netherlands, scientists have found a way to replicate waves at their very worst. Standing here, you really get a sense of the size and power of this machine. The waves are travelling the length of this tank, that's 300 metres. Inside here, there's 9 million litres of water. And that's what you need to create the world's largest artificial wave, reaching a height of more than 5 metres. It's taken two years to build and cost £20 million. Now it's undergoing its final tests. Waves mimicking any sea conditions can be made to order. Full-sized flood defences will be tested to see how they cope with whatever nature can throw at them. For any part of the world, it can uh, create a hurricane or it can create a tsunami, so we can uh, test uh, sea defences all over the world. From China to North America and the UK, the devastation of flooding is clear. But a UN climate report warns global sea levels could rise by up to a metre by the end of the century. Scenes like this could become the norm. With a network of dams and dikes and huge storm barriers like this, the Dutch are protected for now. But future-proofing coastal defences around the world is vital. Yearly, there's in several countries experience severe flood events and maybe with little fatalities, but the economic damage is huge. And in the future, the economic damage is going to increase. The fight back against flooding starts here. And these man-made waves will help engineers design the very best sea defences. Because if scientists' forecasts are correct, our future could be a much wetter one. Rebecca Morell, BBC News, The Netherlands.